Hi, George here. In this project, we'll be moving this girl in behind here and leaving just the foreground girl. Now, when you're removing a person from picture, you pretty much have to remove only background people. The foreground people you can't remove because there's nothing to fill in that section that would be missing if we took this foreground person out. But she's all here and we can replace the background person with this background detail in there and we'll have the whole foreground person. Now to do this, we need to make a careful selection right around this edge in here. And then we can go as far as you want over here. That doesn't matter. But we need to select this out and protect this part of the image. Now one way to do that is to take her out of here and put her on her own layer. Copy her to our own layer. That way we can just fix the whole background and not worry about that edge right there. This is the easiest way to do this. So for that, I'm going to first make a copy of the background. Right click and let's duplicate the background. There we go. That's my working background. If I want to mess things up, that's what I want to be working on. And because I want to have a new layer with just her figure on it, let's right click and we'll do another copy here in the duplicate. And this is going to be my foreground. I'll call that foreground girl right there. So the background will be doing all of our clone stamping on this layer. And then this layer will have just the girl. So let's go ahead now and select her out as carefully as we can and then leave her on top of that same picture, but that should make this process much easier. Okay, for that, I'm going to grab one of our selection tools. Let's grab the freehand selection tool. And I like using the second option here, the polygonal lasso. And you can come in if you want to and just do real tight right against this and get a perfect edge. That's fine if you're really careful, that's okay. I'm going to hopefully try the refine edge and let's see if that will work out for us a little bit better. So I'll go just outside. I'm not actually into the image here. I'm just outside the image and make my selection just out there and we'll leave the actual edge to the refine tool. So just take your time and work around. In this case I want to be pretty close because I want to have that refine tool find exactly the edge that I want to have fixed. And then around this side there's her sleeve right there. Again stay pretty close. Now we may need to come back in and do some manual adjustment on this. That's fine. No problem with that. But we'll see how much we can get done with the refine edge tool. And then up around the edge up here and then to her hair right here. There we go and back and down just a little bit. And on the top half up here. There we go and finish back around at our starting point. Okay there's our selection. Let's now click on refine. I normally use the overlay. This is this red coloration here. I use the overlay. And I'll leave feathering alone. Oh, we could put in just one pixel, just a little bit of feathering in here. I'll put in one pixel like that. That's not going to hurt us. And then that brush looks like it's pretty good size. And then just paint just right along the edge like that. And then let Affinity Photo go in and clean that edge up for us. And it should find that edge very well. Now you may need to go back and forth a little bit. And on this kind of a job, I'll tend to do just little movements like this, just little bits. I won't take a, you know, any big long movement and this will let Affinity Photo really work on that. Now sometimes it won't be perfect again. We may need to come in here and adjust it a little bit, but hopefully this will take care of that edge for us. And it's just a matter of taking your time and going around the image and letting Affinity Photo do its work. Now if your pixel size is too big on your brush, you can adjust that right down here. That's a 50 pixel brush. We can bring it down to say 40 pixels. 41, there we go. It's a little bit smaller. A little more detail right in here. Now the nice thing about doing this is we're going to be taking this out to a layer mask and we can always clean the layer mask up afterwards. So that gives us a lot more flexibility in here. I'm getting this exactly right. So it's kind of a two-step process. Okay, I'll leave that alone at that point. Let's finish the hair side over here. I'll go a little bit longer on this. I think we can afford that. Now this side is only going to be going right back on top of itself. We're not actually doing any retouch over here. So this is going to look perfect. The real problem is the other side where we have the two girls overlapping. That's what I really care about. Okay, let's now output this to a new layer with layer mask. Choose apply. And there we go. Let's hide everything else. And there it goes. It's a little bit messy in here. You can see that. We'll fix it up at a final cleanup step.
And we can do that right on that pixel layer. All right, let's now hide that layer. I'll just leave this one alone. And here's our background layer. And we'll be working on this layer with the clone stamp tool. Okay, clone stamp tool over here. Now it's pretty big area here and a larger brush is probably better than a smaller brush at this point, but that's pretty big. That's 160 pixel. Let's bring this up to about 200. Hit the enter key to set that in place. That's pretty good. Now come in here. You want to keep the close area here matching our close area and then further away matches the further away. So I'm going to be working left to right mostly. We'll need to do some diagonal stuff in here to match that diagonal, but mostly straight back and forth will give you the best effect. Okay, hold the Alt key down, click in an area there, and then bring that over here and just begin painting in. We're going to have to go back and forth and do a bit of cleanup on this thing as well. So just take your time. This first pass is just a rough pass right here. You can see I'm coming right into the edge right there. Let's now back up, click over here, and then do over here. At this point, I'm going to come back in and just try to clean up some of these little spots that are showing right there. And then back to our large selection and then take this right over that foreground girl's image. Just a little bit is all you need, but take it right over that image right there. Again, it's working straight side to side. And take your time on this. We'll take care of that top part in just a bit. So it's kind of right along there. Let's get all this taken care of first. Okay, that's pretty good. Now look for anything that's repeating, like right here, 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 here. That's kind of a repeating pattern. Let's just come in and grab some different stuff in here and put it over there to hide that repeating pattern. There's a bit of a striping happening in here, so I want to get some different stuff in there just to break up that repeating pattern. That always happens whenever you're using the clone stamp. You're going to be getting some repeating stuff, so just take your time and try to hide anything which is obviously repeating in here. Like that little yellow thing right there. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's now show our foreground girl again. And there we go. So she's in the foreground and the background's looking pretty good. Let's hide her and let's now work on this line right here. So I'll grab from up here. I'll click right here and I'll move that down. Just trying to match that line up and take that straight down. Let's do that a few times. And try taking that down right down into the other girl's image right there. Let's try this bench, whatever this is up here, and we'll try bringing that down a little bit. That actually matches pretty well right there. And then a little bit up in here. Now this thing here, I'm going to take this one over here, left-hand side. I'll take a bit of that. I'll go right here, grab that, and let's try to position that right on top of this one. I think we can use that right in there. That worked out pretty well. And then grab some of this stuff in here. And let's fill this in. That's another one of those little bench things or little stands right there, whatever those are. Let me get this part first. I think we can just lose that. Right there. And that looks pretty good. So I, the foreground girl has got me a little spot right here. Let me just do something right in there. There we go. So the background girl there is gone. The foreground girl is still here. Let's go ahead and show her back in again. Okay, all we need to do now is just clean up this edge on that layer mask. Let's go over here to the layer mask side. Click on the left side. That's the image side. Right side your layer mask side. And we're going to zoom in on this real tight. There we go. And then I want to make a very careful selection right around in here. And we'll take it just a little piece at a time. So grab your marquee tool. Again, I'm still using that polygonal tool. And I'll come right down here, make a very careful selection right up along the edge of this sleeve here. Just take this straight up and take your time. And now with this tool, you click and then you position your next spot and then click. If you're doing curves, it's going to be shorter clicks. If you're doing a straight line, you can do it a little bit longer, like that's a curve. So a little bit shorter in there. And let's go up and around this first finger here. Just like that, right in there. Then I'll take it out here and then back to the beginning. We are working here actually on the layer mask. So all we need to do in here really is just to paint black on that layer mask. So I grab my paintbrush, make sure our foreground color is black. That is, there's your brush size. I'll make this smaller. I'll make this just a 30 pixel. Hit the enter key to set that in. And then right here, I'm just painting 
onto the layer mask, paint black on the layer mask, and that just hides anything that's right in that area. There we go. Okay, we'll deselect that. That edge is perfect. Let's now go up a little bit. Same thing for the rest of the fingers and the top part of this camera in here. Let's go ahead and do that part. Go back to our marquee tool here and then come in just carefully find your spot here for that finger and then just work around on that. There we go. Now if you need to go on the other side, I'll show you how to do that once we get to the top of that camera up there. But take your time with this step. This is what really counts is the accuracy at this point. This makes everything else work. Everything else is easy. This is the hard part is just doing this. And let's just go right up around the camera right here and in there and then straight in here. This can be long because it's a straight line and then just carefully up and around that and straight across here. I'll go right to this corner with the hair and I'll stop there and then up and around. There we go and down and back to our beginning point. There it is. Back to the paintbrush and again we're painting black on the layer mask and that just hides anything that's in that area just like that and that's that little bit of fuzziness that was left in there. Now right here the background is showing through just a little bit. So in this spot here all we need to do is to invert that selection. Select invert pixel selection. We need to switch our colors here. Going for white this time other side and that's white and then just paint right along that edge painting the inside edge here and that cleans up that little bit right in there. Okay that's good. Deselect. Let's take a look at her hair. I think we're okay there. Nope, a little bit right up in here. We need to fix that. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Back to the marquee tool. And we started right off here at the edge of that hair. I'll just come right up along that edge. And bring this right inside. And then right on the edge of that hat. And we're making the selection. And again, we're taking the selection for that layer mask. The nice thing with the layer mask is, as we just saw, we can always go back and forth. I can use black to hide and I can use white to show. And that allows me to carefully control that. Now, if you're too close to an edge, just hold the space bar down and you can move your image around. And I want to take this just right up around this part of the hat here. And then over out here a bit and back down to our beginning spot. There's our selection. Back to the paintbrush tool. Switch back to black again and we'll paint in here and hide anything that's showing in that area. That's going to be the last little bit of that girl. Okay, that's actually this foreground girl. That's fine. And there we go. Select, deselect, right click, zoom to fit. And there we go. We have removed that background person and left just the foreground person. Now at this point you may want to go back in and do a little bit of touch up on the grass if you think you need it. I think that looks pretty good. So there it is. It's not a difficult process, but it does take a little bit of patience and a little bit of care, and you should have a good result. 